Highest energies Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what's written in your destiny. So we'll see what exactly is fated and destined for you, what's written in the stars for you. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out. My email address will be listed in the description box below. So let's go ahead guys, um, give the cards a shuffle and see what is it that's written in your destiny. Okay. Swords here, guys. I know the cards aren't looking all that great so far, but I promise you it's not as bad as it may seem. <laughs> okay, you've got a lot of air energy, guys. A lot of air energy here. Okay, I promise I'm going to put a positive spin on all of this because just as pain is a natural part of life, um, there's also this natural rhythm of life, right? Ups and downs. And for some of for some of you watching and listening with the Ten of Swords, this is a card of healing. It's a card of um, karmic lessons learned and being applied. It's a card of um, survival improvement. So I can see that some of you have been through a lot of pain. Whether um, this pain here, whether you were born into it, because a lot of the time, you know, well, we are born, as we are born, we're born into circumstances here even that have been created long before us. So some of you have been born into this pain. Some of you have, unfortunately, encountered pain in your life. Others of you, you may have attracted certain individuals or energies into your life who have brought you a great deal of pain. But I feel like the Ten of Swords shows me that although some of you feel as though you might have been really hurt and ruined by this, it's definitely strengthened you. Um, you've definitely, you, you know, you've definitely survived here. Um, and it's all about healing as well. So I can see that you have undergone a lot of karmic lessons and a lot of you, you're actually, um, to me, it feels like you're opening yourself up. You're on a path of spiritual fulfillment. Um, you could also be opening yourself up to spiritual planes here, but I can definitely see that you're learning. You're, you're starting to recognize the people who have taught you these lessons in your life. You're starting to recognize the lessons themselves and applying it to to the future here. So the Ten of Swords can indicate that some of you have reached like a lowest point in your life, but when you hit rock bottom, the only way is up. So a lot of you, I do feel like there's new beginnings for you in store, okay? There's definitely new beginnings that are written and interwoven and are going to be an extremely big part of your destiny here because now the Ten of Swords, given the state of this card, even in the state of this card, the sun still rises, okay? So the new beginnings here. A lot of you, this is a new beginning of independence as well. So the universe here is asking for you, it's actually inviting for you to break out of this sense of entrapment or this restriction or you know this fear of being like this notion of being paralyzed by some sort of fear or terror any drama punishment here um it's asking for you to <clears throat> you know you are not your circumstances sorry i'm losing my voice <clears throat> and do not allow yourself to be <clears throat> excuse me do not allow yourself to be confined by your uh, or restricted by your circumstances here some of you I can see that you've kind of attracted the wrong type of partner the wrong type of energy into your life here but notice that whenever you're in this energy of self-doubt here okay remember that true happiness comes from within here and So whatever it is that's going on internally here, you're likely to attract that externally. So as I've mentioned, true happiness does come within. So 
for a lot of you you do have new beginnings especially in love and romance but that's going to require a shift from you okay it indicates that basically it's an indication that happiness here yeah, okay the source of true happiness is within us happiness starts from within us and some of you i feel like have been looking for happiness outside of yourself and this is why you've attracted the wrong type of person or the wrong the wrong type of situation into your life here so understand that your inner like for example there's an inner happiness within everyone and but often it's covered and i can see it's covered by layers of fears anxieties insecurities here and some of you you know those fears or those layers i mean those fear, those layers of fears anxieties and insecurities have sort of become an inseparable part of your inner being from your essence so this is why you need to strip yourself off from all of those fears anxieties and insecurities that keep you bound okay um And also, I just want to point out that for, for some of you, there is a difference between like happiness and pleasure. Although those things do kind of feel the same here, you know, they are not one and the same. Like pleasure is perceived through the five senses, whereas happiness is independent on itself, regardless of those five senses. Okay, so I can definitely see that love, new beginnings, <clears throat> emotional awakening, spirituality here, <clears throat> creativity, excuse me, intuition so that's all a part of your destiny here okay the universe he wants to offer you that chalice that chalice of abundant source and happiness and all you have to do is take what it is that you're being offered and drink from it here okay that water that fills the chalice here in the ace of cups rep represents sorry the um, pure and pristine emotions here so if you drink from the chalice, if you drink from this cup, you will get nothing short of emotional and um, emotional happiness and fulfillment. So I feel like there is there's a lot of chances or opportunities for you that are going to be made available to you in the beginning to start fresh, to begin again, okay? But they will only come in the form of you opening up yourself. And I feel like a lot of you are either on the path you know putting yourself on that path there and some of you are already along you know, walking down along this path because aces are associated with all like associated with new beginnings i feel like depending on what you're going through this card i feel like is either referencing a spiritual or an emotional awakening here turning over a new leaf a new chapter a new connection um romantic business here it's also a chance to put the past behind you okay and for a lot of you um and even the, for those of you that are listening and you know you're still you're still kind of got lingering emotional feelings okay for someone in the past or for a past situation here um to me, it feels like there will come a day where you're going to be able to put that situation behind you. You're going to break free from that situation. You're going to break free from the shackles of that situation. And what's, what that's going to do is that that's going to sail you off. It's going to propel you off into smooth, calm, tranquil seas here. Okay, so it's definitely one of the happiest, the Ace of Cups, one of the happiest cards to get, especially in a tarot love reading, because to me, it's definitely new romantic developments new friendships relationships new stages of intimacy here um new opportunities here emotional spiritual creative as well um and it's decisions that you're going to be making in the future which are going to have you feeling very um fulfilled very happy here it's emotional new beginnings is how i see it for you guys okay now with the five of wands the university is asking you to walk the path of least resistance um, so do not try to fight um, do not try to fight off any uncertainty or any change here okay embrace the change because when you do walk the path of least resistance it's going to put you on the path of, to happiness here okay so um, some of you I feel like you need to either rid yourself of any habits or patterns that sort of enable you to keep performing the same things or keep feeling like you're stuck and 
because they're no longer effective nor are they satisfying here so embrace change it's all about taking a new path one that is meant to awaken you and your inner being here okay that, that's why i feel like for you and despite having all those negative cards i feel like it's just the universe trying to hint at what you could do differently to put yourself onto that path um, of happiness here so And that ID, for, for a lot of you taking that new path here, is definitely, as I've mentioned, it's definitely going to awaken you, especially more fully to the present here. Okay, and it's going to create a sense of magic for you. Because you're going to start attracting, instead of attracting the wrong type of person or the wrong type of situations, you're going to start attracting all the right situations, the right type of people, circumstances, situations, opportunities, everything that you're well deserving of, okay? So a lot of you, it's all about shedding your skin, letting go of any old habits, patterns that do not serve you, that don't feel satisfying anymore. So letting go of all of that, leaving leaving the past in the past it's okay to revisit it and learn lessons from it but don't get stuck there don't unpack your bags don't stay there okay the past is behind behind you the future remains yet to be written okay guys these are your messages thanks for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking commenting sharing for those of you interested in a personal reading feel free to inquire otherwise bye for now